Howdy folks and welcome back to World of Warships with Rear Admiral Jingles and for today only a special mystery guest. I'm going to be doing something slightly different in today's video because the Azuma Japanese Tier 9 Premium Battleship is now available for either a million free XP in game or in various different packages in the Premium Shop. Now what I'm not trying to do today is to tell you not to get the Azuma. I'm not going to tell you that it's a bad ship. In many respects it's very strong, it's very fast, and it has very good guns. However, there are some definite weaknesses associated with the ship. And in order for you to have the full picture before you commit to making the purchase, I thought that I would put a little video together today just examining probably the most glaring deficiency with the Azuma, and that's her armour. Okay, I've sent you an invitation to the training room. Okay, accept. Make sure you're in your Azuma. I am. And just to demonstrate, and this is going on YouTube by the way, but just to demonstrate how incredibly shit the Azuma's armour is. Uh, oh, I should I put flags then? There are no flags that are going to improve how thick your armour is. Okay. Right. Okay. So, as I was saying, just to demonstrate uh, just how incredibly shit the Azuma's armour is. Mm -hmm. Rita is in her Azuma because in a training room you can't add a premium ship. Um, if you have a premium ship you can be in it but you can't add a bot to shoot at. Uh, so Rita has agreed to join us and uh, Rita has never played her Azuma yet. <laughs> she may not no, want... I have not. <laughs> she may not want to after this. So the Azuma has 25mm of armour everywhere. Bow, stern, deck. 25 millimeters. The, 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 the belt armor is obviously thicker than 25 millimeters, but the, the important thing is all of the deck armor uh, and the bow and the stern are 25, which means that the Azuma takes a shit ton of damage from high explosive. And to demonstrate, I need to find the right ships, just exactly how much high explosive damage you take. You don't even need the IFHE skill in a light cruiser to blast right through the Azuma's armor with HE. Um, there are, however, <laughs> ships where having IFHE is actually quite useful. If you're shooting at something with 25mm of armour, we call those ships destroyers. Yes, kids, destroyers. Uh, I just realised I've got my filter on. I'm not going to pick a destroyer just to demonstrate this at first, of course. I'm going to pick something that's armed with destroyer guns. My flint. My flint with my Worcester captain on it. So, because it's my Worcester captain, he has the IFHE skill, uh, which means that the Flint's 127mm, 5-inch, destroyer calibre guns can blast through 27mm of plating. And the Azuma only has 25. So this is what a destroyer can do to this Tier 9 Japanese battle cruiser. And also, don't forget, if you get shot at with high explosive, you're going to get set on fire. So, we've set up Rita's Azuma with all of the please don't burn skills and just see exactly how much good it's going to do. Also we're firing at her with a captain uh, with the IFHE skill so I have a minus three percent chance of causing a fire in the first place uh, because of IFHE. We have a little kitty cat eating food very noisily. Where do you want me to go? Don't have to go. Well, you can sail into the middle there if you like. And just this would uh, speed things up a little. And then I'm just going to start okay. blatting at you with these five-inch American I... destroyer gun turrets. On my way, Mr. Jingaru. Okay. If you could randomly fire your guns, just to give you position away. There we are. I see you. Uh, you're out of range. I can't actually shoot at you yet. The thing about the Azuma is it has an absolute shit ton of health. I mean, 58,000. It's tier 9, and I think that's 18,000 health more than the Zhao has at tier 10. But it's going to need all of that health. 
because it is basically just a dirty great big credits and XP pinata. I mean it's got powerful guns uh, with a higher chance of setting a fire than the Zao, but the Zao fires faster and it's got more guns, so probably, while well, I haven't done the math, as an overall higher, it's probably overall going to set more fires. Taking your time. Drive her closer. I want to shoot with my guns. On my way. She's pretty quick though. She'll do 34 knots. I see. And just watch what happens when destroyers start shooting at this. Tier 9 battle cruiser. And don't forget, it's a battle cruiser. So it burns for longer. Burns for longer than other cruisers. But I'm doing anything between two and four thousand damage per salvo. Ouch. Oh, I'm burning so much. Yeah, this is a tier seven cruiser shooting at you. A tier seven cruiser on with destroyer guns. How 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 good are you feeling? About that, 58,000 health. I think I'd rather be playing with my Amagi. <laughs> yeah. well, if you get this close, I may as well use armor piercing. I'm trying to not give broadsides too much. Oh, you angled, you pesky thing. <laughs> Now, obviously, you know, in a real game, the Azuma would be shooting back. Oh, give me some of that broadside. I mean, with high explosive. Give me some of that broadside. Pew! No, I mean, you show up. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I can't give me what I'd say. Ouchie, ouchie. Okay, that hurts. Please, be kind. No. So, yeah. Um, and we were probably actually seeing less damage than the flint should have been doing because uh, she was getting really close there. So a lot of those shots were going in on a flat arc and not actually dropping in from above the way the flint, the Atlanta and American destroyers um, and American light cruisers specialise in. Uh, coming in from above and hitting the superstructure in the deck where they're going to do full damage. So how do you, how you know how how comfortable do your fifty eight thousand health make you feel there, Rita? Not at all, quite honestly. Okay. I feel like I'm much sturdier on my tier eight Amagi. Well, yeah, it's a battleship. It's got thirty two millimeters of deck plating, but just an extra two millimeters. Oh wait, this of... is the cruiser. <laughs> oh dear lord. Yes, yes it's, it's a battleship. Oh um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <gasps> okay, right. <laughs> so, okay, um, how about a destroyer? How about a destroyer? I mean, if you thought that was scary, and it kind of was, but like the Flint and the Lanter are a special case, how about an actual destroyer? And this time, you can even shoot back. Okay, that's good. If I can see you, that is. Well, you'll once I start shooting, you'll see me, but you won't see yeah. me until I start shooting. So this is the Harugamo, and um, anybody who has played many tier ten games will probably already know what's coming. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go up to the sea catcher point and fight it out okay. up there. Now, for the benefit of Rita, because she just doesn't know these things, the Harukamo has 100mm. Well, you don't, do you? 
You can rule them out as 100mm guns. Now normally the way the uh, high explosive penetration calculations work is you divide by a sixth. Unless you're German. Or British battleships. This means that you have to have the IFHE skill to be able to damage anything on a Japanese destroyer with 100mm guns. So they, they gave it they basically gave it, not quite, but effectively baked in IFHE. Which means that these things can do, I can't remember the exact number, um, but they can definitely do a minimum of 19mm of penetration, even with just 100mm guns and without IFHE. But, if you add the IFHE, they can easily get through 25mm. Guess what the Azuma has? 25mm. So... <laughs> Oh, and uh, and these guns fire every three seconds, Rita, and I've got ten of them. Oh dear. Actually, I haven't seen much many Harugumos out there. Well, that's the thing, you don't usually see them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I'm, this is, this, again, this is, this is not going to be a typical fight, because you're going to see me. I've got nobody else to spot for me. Normally, the Harugamo hides inside a smoke screen or on the other side of an island, and somebody else is doing the spot, and the Harugamo just fills the sky with high explosive shells. <laughs> Almost like an Atlanta or the Kutuzumo? The Atlanta wishes it could put down the volume of fire that this thing can. Oh. I need to get me a Harugumo then. Well, first you'd have to get yourself the Ritakazi, because that's what it leads to. What leads to. I'm on my way. <laughs> Do you have a uh, Ritakazi? Oh, yeah. That's the tier 9. This is the tier oh, 10, so obviously I've got the... <laughs> like I said, she just doesn't know anything. <laughs> I'm getting there, okay? <laughs> okay, let me fire back. Trying to hit you. Ha! Picked it. I see what you did there. What did I do? You shot me. Well, you said I could shoot back. Yeah. Not oh, okay. It's not going to do you any good. Not just a pretty face. I can I can hit a, a destroyer. <laughs> Jingles, you appear to have beaches yourself. This is fine. Oh no! No! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Just one, it's okay, it's okay. I am emorrhaging HP like crazy though. Mine, I have repaired at the right time, I have healed up as well, and... Yeah, I'm down to 6,000 HP. You have 58,000 health, I've done 60,000 damage. Yeah. I think um, I feel like the response of fire, it's not adequate, considered what's receiving. Oh, gosh, considering. Yeah. Well, these battle cruisers burn for longer than regular cruisers. Mm -hmm. I see you, Mr. Jingaro. Ah, come on, the guns turn, please! Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> Enemy cruiser destroyed! Damn it. Yeah. And, 
obviously you were allowed to fight back. In fact, the odds were stacked in your favour there because I had to do all of my own spotting. So I, I had to um, make myself available to return fire there in a way that a Harugabo normally wouldn't have to do. And you still lost 66,500 of your 58,000 health. Uh, and very, very quickly. And as if that was not ridiculous enough, we're going to go once again. Remember, tier 9 battle cruiser, and I'm going to take a tier 5 destroyer. So I've respect my Nicholas, because the captain only had uh, a 10 points. You have to press the ready button, Rita. Hello, Rita. Earth calling Rita. Come in, Rita. Hello, Rita. Hello. Is there anybody there? You have to press the ready button. Oh, okay. Um, you weren't talking, so I was just waiting for you to. Yeah, I was pressing the alt key rather than control. <laughs> no worries. So I'm taking a tier five destroyer in against your tier nine battle cruiser now. Okay. That doesn't seem to bother you. Uh, you know. Just... A, a tier five destroyer. Oh, a tier five. I wasn't listening, to be honest. <laughs> okay, you let's see? see how that goes. You see, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I only had one coffee today. So the reason I picked the Nicholas um, is because it has 127mm guns. They're okay. crappy, boxy little 5-inch destroyer guns. But with the IFHE skill, they can blitz through mm -hmm. your armor like a hot knife through butter. It's As just, well? That's crazy. Yep. <laughs> a tier 5 destroyer can penetrate what? your armor like it wasn't there. You want me... where do you want me? See again or...? Um, yeah, see again. Okay. But keep your distance this time, because I want, I want to just demonstrate plunging fire. I want my shots okay. coming in from above. Do you want me to fire back? Well, I am in a tier 5 destroyer, so please don't. It's okay. just to demonstrate how your armor just melts under high explosive fire. And of course, we haven't even discussed armor piercing. In fact, we should we should <laughs> yeah, I should we should we should have one more go after this and I'll pick a battleship with 16 inch guns and see how well oh, no. your armor holds up against that. Oh no. <laughs> because armor piercing, of course. Well, you know how the demo well you don't, but for speaking for the benefit of YouTube, I know you know nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> Wow, the, the you know, fighting words. <laughs> you know how um, <laughs> the Des Moines armor gets just gets it, it's not even there as far as a sixteen inch gun firing at it is concerned. Mm -hmm. So battleships with sixteen inch guns, the Nelson um oh you sound like you're a little kitty through there. Yeah. They that you can't bow tank in a Des Moines. But the Des Moines has twenty seven millimeters of armor. The Azuma only has 25, so it's even worse. Or it's have, just as bad. I have played the space version of the Dismoins. Oh yeah, the Galaxy. Yes, I rather like it. It's uh, the yeah. Rip of Fire. It's very Atlantish. Yes. Yeah, it, it's yes. very, very good at dishing the damage out. It's not so good at taking it. Mm. But it's got better armor than the Azuma. <laughs> so. Wow, that's crazy. That extra two millimeters of armor that the um, that the Des Moines has only really helps against other cruisers firing armor piercing at it. Um, the Azuma can't even count on that. Yes, you are capping. So this thing only has four guns. Oh, hello. Uh, you're a bit close. Um, yeah, I'm already pacing myself away from so, you. So get out of here. I'm already turning away. Oh, but that's a tier 5 destroyer in my first salvo. I just did 1800 damage. Oh, 2300 damage. <laughs> tier 5 destroyer. <laughs> Can I be honest? Yeah. I feel like you're doing more damage to me on a Nicholas than you were on the Haruguma. You are. You definitely are. I, I had more HP with the Haruguma by now. Well, that's because you were shooting back and I was maneuvering and not giving you all my guns. Yeah, true, true. Still, 
A tier 5 is melting me down just as much as a tier 10, so... Gonna heal up. Yes. Sometimes I w I go sail against the border. It takes me a while to realize what's the weird sound the game is making. Like now. What's the gun distance again of your of the Nicholas? Ten point nine. That's it. Yeah. to a full halt. This ship, it kind of looks like a battleship that is lacking guns on the front and back. It has that lovely sun deck that could be used for more guns in my opinion, but then it probably would sink down just like a Russian ship. I like Fire seems to have gone out. Yes, it did by itself. I have yeah, still one fire. areas that aren't damage saturated to shoot it. Seventy five thousand damage. Jeez. So all your healing is really just giving me more health to take off you. Yes, pretty much. Try a battleship. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I know which battleship. <laughs> oh, which one? You'll see. You won't understand when you see it, but you'll see. <laughs> So, just to round the point home about how vulnerable that ship is to high explosive shells. And so far, we've only been looking at destroyer caliber high explosive shells. Oh, it's going to have to be the Lion, since I don't have a commander in my Conqueror, and you can't swap. Commanders around in the training room interface. Okay. But the lion basically has the same guns, just has less of them. 
Is it like a meme, the lion? Kind of. Although, it's more the conqueror than tier 10. Okay. Why is it a meme? Wait until it hits you with high explosive shells and you'll find out. Oh, no. And then we'll rip you up with some armor piercing, if you like, and you feel free to fight back. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So, tier 9 battle cruiser versus tier 9 battleship. The other thing about the Azuma is that, uh, I mean, this is a very small map, Solomon's. So, um, most Japanese cruisers have 10 kilometer, well, not most, but a lot of Japanese cruisers have 10 kilometer range torpedoes. The Azuma doesn't get torpedoes. <laughs> See again? You don't get, yeah, yeah. So I said say again there for a second, I was about to repeat myself. Uh, yeah, C. C works fine. So I'm going to, well, we're both going to be fighting at ranges closer than either of us are really going to be comfortable with. Um, the Azuma really does kind of need to stay at range. And it has more accurate guns than other tier 9 battlecruisers or tier 10 battlecruisers, but they're still not that accurate. They're not accurate by cruiser standard, um, but they are accurate by battle cruiser standards. Rita yeah, still has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, actually, I kind of do. Well, oh, you, because you thought this was a battleship, not a battle cruiser. Well, it looks like one, moves like one. Yeah, a so. lot of the battle cruisers do look like battleships. Mm -hmm. Ships like the Star I'm not used to the Alaska and the Azuma. I've only gone as far as tier eight. In the game, so I, I yeah. have yeah. I don't have any tier nines and tens. That I have grinded myself. That is. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. You got the Azuma as a community contributor. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So first thing I'm going to do is smack you with high explosive, just to put the fear of God into you. Mm -hmm. And then I will switch to armor piercing, and you can feel free to try to angle against my shells. Okay. Funny enough, I got the sim setting. I expose it first and then AP. Mm. You have 310 millimeter guns. I think you've got the largest caliber guns of any of the battle cruisers in the game. I feel a bit uncomfortable that this thing only has three gun turrets and two on the front, so it means if I want to shoot you... With two guns, I need to be pushing against you, yeah? It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> okay. Not when I'm loading all the piercing. Not no, with 25mm no me of armor. Doesn't matter how angled the ship is. The only difference is how easy it's going to be for me to hit your citadel. Hmm, only one hit. Oh well. Armor piercing from here on in. Not good. <laughs> so how's that AP working out for you, Rita? Not very well. I think I should go back to high explosive. <laughs> <laughs> Jingles, please. <laughs> okay, high explosive. Yeah, 5,000 though. I scraped your sides there. Scraped the paint off. You certainly did. Wow. One over pen and one pen. I think the pen just penetrated your torpedo belt or something. Because there was no damage on it. 
I'm pretty much fighting you as I would uh, in a normal match, you know, yeah, nearly sailing against you're running, islands. You're running into that border, though. That means you're going to have to turn. <laughs> exactly. And um, that is going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Ooh, got you on fire. Don't care, I'm a lion. Yes, true, true. Pew pew pew. Oh no, look at all of that damage. Oh, oh no. Please have mercy. You almost have as much health as me, you realise? Yeah. <laughs> dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah. That and that was still against... That was 10,000 damage that you uh, didn't dodge. <laughs> Ouchie. I do kind of like the damage that he's making, but this is probably because I haven't yet started playing tier 9s and I don't know if this is good or bad, <laughs> but much, it feels definitely you, better. How much have you done? Around, you know, 3,000, 4,000 each hit. Yeah. Like I said, it does have very big guns for a cruiser. Yeah. Okay, that hurts. That wasn't even a sit-down. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it's not like I have been missing my shells too much. They've been pretty accurate. Oof, 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 oof. Ah! Yeah. Okay, oof. It's just impossible. You cannot. Out I got no bounces. Not one. Over penetrations, mm -hmm. penetrations, citadels. Not one bounce. Because with twenty-five millimeters of armor, you cannot bounce my 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 shells. Not not shells of this caliber. Everything that hits mm -hmm. is gonna penetrate. So that's the Azuma's armor for you. Have fun playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I suppose. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and I suppose it's traditional at this point where I say that's it for today, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's bonus video. Thank you to Rita for taking part. And as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time. Coffee as payment, please. Damn you, woman. <laughs>